What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This video has been a long time coming. I got my Hawk Helium sticks in and I got my Stealth strips in and I knew it was gonna be a lot of work so I've just been kind of procrastinating if you will. Those of you that are probably familiar, um, these are a very common stick. I believe 20 inches or so is kind of the average. I forget the exact off the top of my head. Um, but they're used a lot, a ton of people. They're used by a ton of people online. Um, they're fairly lightweight. People have very little complaints. They're very sturdy, if you will. Um, and it's very cheap to get a pack of four. Um, also, again, camofire.com. I used to get these for like 90 bucks for four sticks. Um, and I believe I'm gonna end up going with the tethered one stick because it's so lightweight in the future, but it's about 100 bucks a stick. So you can see uh, how much cheaper, especially starting, because I have not used climbing sticks very much. Uh, most of my, my younger days were, were used in a climber. Um, so I'm very excited about this. I also got the stealth strips in. Um, I got the pre-cut strips, two per stick basically, uh, for the uh, Hawk Heliums. They are perfectly pre-cut from end to end, which is very nice. It seems like they're, they're quite precise. You don't need to stretch them at all. They can just lay right on there and um, you don't need to worry about cutting them additionally. So that was kind of a nice feature. So I got two of those, again, front and back uh, per stick. The Stealth Chips guy, this is my, my first time. You may or may not have used them before, um, but so far I am very impressed. It's very thick. Um, you know, it just seems like a good material. They're very sticky. It doesn't seem like once you put it on that you're going to need, um, you know, to kind of be able to rip it up and replace it. It just seems like it's gonna last quite a while. So I'm happy about that. I also ended up getting uh, some of these cable buckles. They have the kind of foam um, and then strips on each side. So, you know, if you're using a regular buckle strap to, to tighten the sticks, um, these would go over the buckle and silence them. So if you're flinging it around the tree to tighten it down, um, you know, and it accidentally hits something, these would silence it a lot. Uh, fortunately, unfortunately for me, these sticks came with more of a Versa strap, just the rope without the buckle. So I have four of these basically I don't need. Um, but my main point is with these stealth strips, I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed. They also gave me a couple miscellaneous pieces. Uh, maybe it's just to show a different camel pattern. Um, but I was very, you know, happy with, with how quickly they came. They did a great job the quality and um, you know the fact that they gave me a little bit extra might help. I uh, might try it out on some of my other stands, other things that I want to quiet down. And then I ordered just a medium uh, roll, if you will, to probably utilize on the platform that I'm still waiting on. Gonna have another, another video on my, my saddle setup. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna be covering these and putting my stealth strips on the Hawk Heliums. Before I go into more detail, if this is something that you guys are really enjoying product reviews, um, also the habitat management we've done, please think about you know subscribing to the channel, uh, giving us a like and any comments uh, are greatly appreciated. Um, I want to go over a pre-done stick that I did to kind of test things out, make sure I was doing things the right way and I'm really glad I did because this stick here probably took me about an hour to do. It was just, like I said, I knew it was gonna be a lot of work. I think I did the uh, the long way around and I wanna save you guys some time. So you can see how nice these look. Um, great material, I mean, I am super happy I, I got these. I think they're gonna last a long time. Um, they're nice feeling, it's gonna be a lot quieter. I did take all the hardware off, which I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna walk you right through, so it is gonna be a longer video. But if you don't wanna watch the whole thing, the biggest thing that I would tell you is these uh, these screws here with the washer that go through and hold the steps in, they have another washer, two plastic ones on the inside along each part of the, uh, of the step, um, two plastic ones. Now, if you do choose to take these off, I took the, the bolt out, I, I cut a square, um, again, which I'll be going over, took the step out, did the whole process, slid it back in. It is very, very hard to slide the plastic washer back in on each side um, and get the step in there and put the bolt through. And it's not necessarily because it's so thick with the uh, stealth strip. It's more or less just because it's, it's taut already. It's taut with these steps. Um, and so it was very difficult to end up, you know, spending a lot of time taking a screwdriver and prying it in. And it was just unnecessary basically and, and wasted probably another 20 minutes just dealing with that. So what I would recommend to you is when you have these 
um, bolts right here, you can, you can see how I cut a rectangle basically, laid the strips down and then slipped the bolt through. The reason I did that was because, you know, I wanted the washer to sit flat on the stealth strip, kind of holding it in place more, if you will. Um, but honestly, I think it, it will hold it down a little bit, but I'm just going to cut a little bit more for my next three sticks, basically, and save myself a lot of time taking these steps out. I'm going to leave just these steps in, but everything else, all the stuff I'm going to take out and show you, but just both, all four steps, if you will, I'm going to leave those in, cut around it, and I'm just going to slip it over. And um, I don't think that's going to be that big of a deal. I think it'll stay perfectly fine. And like I said, you can already see a lot of it, um, you know, isn't perfect anyway. So I will put this off to the side and we will begin with a fresh new stick here. I'm going to kind of get organized, if you will. I also wanted to show you guys, they do give you some instructions. Um, you know, they're okay, a basic thing, if you will, not the greatest. I watched a couple videos and that's kind of why I'm helping uh, you guys with this. I've only seen one or two. I thought they were okay. They did a pretty good job. Um, you can see they give you a little pattern here, kind of where to cut out, but I'm going to show you the process that I did that I haven't seen really anyone do and see if it helps you guys at all. I'm going to put this off to the side. Okay. Also materials that you're going to need. I brought a basically Allen wrench. Uh, toolkit here. There are two different sizes that we are going to need. Got my socket wrench here. I do have a 10 millimeter and a 13 millimeter socket. A Sharpie, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a very nice um, sharp set of scissors. These are actually Kinesio tape scissors um, for my first job in the military. They are super sharp. They cut, they cut nice. If you don't have a nice pair of sharp scissors, I highly recommend them. We use them for a ton of things, actually. These are years, years old, and they're still good and sharp. But for cutting these stealth strips, um, you know, even better, especially being sticky, things get tough. Um, these do a great job. So you might want to invest in something like that if you haven't already. Next thing I'm going to do is take these uh, bolts, everything, basically all the hardware now off except for these, and I'm basically going to divide it up from side to side. I picked a primary side, meaning I know that these big ones are going to be my primary side and I'm going to put those off to the right and the smaller ones, I'm going to take those off to the left. I'm getting a good vibe now that uh, it's going to be much easier now that we're not taking these um, uh, steps off. They are a little sharp, so if you are working on a wood table, you might want to lay something out. This is just kind of my arrow fletching uh, work all table, if you will. The uh, office is, is getting done. I know we went over that um, when I showed you guys the basement getting worked on. We just need to organize, get furniture in, things like that. So I will give you a walkthrough later if that's something you're interested in. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, take this apart. All right, laying these out, guys, what I like to do next is take the stealth strip. Again, it's already, um, you know, cut perfectly to length, and you are going to grab one of your Sharpies, and from here, we're going to line up the stealth strip at the top, and basically, I'm going to make a line here that borders, essentially, the bolt. Now, if you line this up, you can see here, there is some hang off of the edge, right? It's gonna wrap around here and kind of tuck in a little bit. So you do need to, you can't just cut the little bit of the edge. You do need to come in a little bit farther to make sure you're gonna be able to get around almost to the middle. If you think about this bar in the middle, um, you know, being whatever, a half inch, we need to come basically all the way in that far to slip this over. Um, so when you're making your lines, if you wanna be, you know, precise, come in a little farther. Once you do a few, you really get used to it. Um, and kind of don't need to make such a, a precise line. I'm gonna do this on both sides. And again, this is just to get the width and the mark. I'm keeping this lined up at the top here and then taking my Sharpie and coming down and, and showing where I need to cut. I like to do a couple at a time once you guys used to it. For some of the holes, what we're gonna do, same thing. We're gonna line this up at the top here and then we're gonna come down to this hole and we're going to stay centered and we're going to go to the very center of where the stealth strip is because these holes guys they're always in the middle of the stick so all we need to do is line at the top 
come over, get to the middle, and boom, I put a little black dot, let that ink really set in so you can see. I think this is the Strata, I believe is what this is called. Yeah, Strata Camo, and the Sharpie so shows up just fine, so don't really worry about it uh, not showing up too well. From there, guys, we're gonna use our scissors. We're gonna cut our rectangles right here. Get this done. Once you have that basically out to the same line, we're gonna flip it over and then I'm gonna cut it from the back here. We're gonna hold on to these rectangular ones that are gonna cover the bolts here. These are essentially gonna be also used under the step to also give it a nice cushion. When you push them down, they're not gonna make a clink. So push these off to the side and keep them. And then we will do the other one real quick. Same thing, flip it over, give it a cut there, and then you can always, as many times as you need guys, come back, look at that, about perfect. Slip it right back on, if you need to notch more, notch more off. Now for the circles. Same thing, I already made this Sharpie line, lined it up, came across right there in the middle. What I'm going to do is fold this, alright, you're not going to hurt anything. And this is really where nice sharp scissors are gonna come into play. I'm gonna go around this dot that I made, make two cuts. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna fold it the other way. Same thing, you'll see your other lines there. Make two cuts. And then for the most part, as long as you are fairly precise, you should be able to basically tear it right off. If you need to make another cut, you know, don't ruin the, the strip, go ahead and do so. A little tag right there. Really helps, guys. If you try and do this with dull scissors, I promise you're probably gonna be just wasting your time. So if you need to wait another day or two and get yourself some sharp scissors, go ahead and do that. Again, some of the holes are bigger than the others, so you don't always need to make them so big. And especially with the holes that the hardware is going to go through, guys, they don't need to be exactly perfect because we're going to be putting that on top with a washer. The screw, once you tighten it in, will go in just fine. So those don't need to be perfect. These may need to be a little more precise just because we're going to be putting it over the top here and not worrying about the washers. So happy again, saving a ton of time. I'm going to come back down. I actually have a couple more uh, holes here I need to do. I'll flip it around and then there's just two holes there on this side. All right, you can see I made also another little change. This hole, it's not on both sides, but on one of the sides, it's very close to the bottom. Also decided to just make that a little bit of a rectangle. These fit perfectly, and then boom, there's the last circle. So now we are good on one side to go ahead and place our strip down. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. The side that has more holes, I like to do first. So I'm gonna flip this back around. I also prefer to take the entire backing off at the same time instead of inching my way forward. I found it more difficult last time when I tried to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this whole thing off. Again, this is something that we don't need to stretch. We're gonna place it on, we're gonna line it up at the top. You don't need to pull a lot. And then don't forget, there is gonna be some overhang, so we're just gonna center it 
and start by pushing down on the middle. Now, if you're not perfect, it's okay. This isn't really like vinyl where we need to be exactly lined up uh, in the middle. You can move it a little and it won't really wrinkle. You have a little more wiggle room. You can see it wasn't perfect there and it's gonna smooth out perfectly fine when I'm done. So it does have a little bit more forgiveness. Again, keeping it in the middle. Same there, not perfect, that's okay. Getting you to the top. And voila. Now at the very least, I can see we're over these. We can see each hole, even if it's not perfect. This one's kind of on the bottom. These are good, and I can see the last one here at the top. So remember to kind of start on this ridge, because you can see there are a little bit of fold points, but if you do keep things in the middle, you smooth this out down, and then you work your way to the edges, you should not run into any issues. And then lastly, we will go ahead, you know what, since we left these on, I didn't do this last time, we are going to have to trim this up a little bit because this would fold back when I had these steps out. This would fold in a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and just take our scissors and trim that up. And then the rest, we will start to fold right around and tucking that in. definitely a little bit more difficult to cut uh, when the backing is not on there so if you can do this ahead of time that would probably be better kind of make a little trash pile and separate it from the ones that you want to keep so I should be able to kind of sneak that around there without worrying too much. Same with these. And then slowly creep all the way in. And voila. Give everything one more pat down. Slide through the bottom groove here, make sure that's good, make sure these are good to close and open. And then we are good on this one side. I'm gonna flip it over, I'm gonna do the same thing, and we're not gonna put the hardware on until we're done with both sides. All right guys, that's done. We're gonna go ahead and start putting on our hardware. Now the primary side, quote unquote, that I talked to you about was the one that had these big ones. And the other way I have that marked is because it's the Allen wrench side of these steps. So I know that these are gonna be on this side. It can be a little bit confusing um, if you don't stay super organized. I will say though, this is 10 times easier without all these other bolts out, washers and things like that and trying to keep them organized. So 
these Phillips heads, they're easily going to go into these uh, smaller holes. So we're going to go ahead and put these down for both of them. That's good. One more. This is also the side that we're going to screw in from the back for our part that grabs the tree. And those are going to be here and at the bottom of here. And that's going to be these. And then in the middle here is going to be your one button that the Versa strap or buckle will go around. Now, you got a bag of hardware. Don't get them mixed up. The really big one here is actually for the um, for the Versa strap button, and that's going to take the bigger washer and also a little bit bigger of a bolt, if you will. These tree brackets have a much smaller, um, not much smaller, but smaller than the other, um, and we'll also need two washers and the smaller bolt for each one. So pretty simple, again, it's going to be on the other side, so we're going to screw in from the primary side, if you will. We're going to put one washer on here, so through. Now I have heard quite a few people talk about these, this groove with that middle, that middle kind of bar, it sits up just a little bit higher than the sides, and about potentially not having this, because you can see the grooves. Um, here at the bottom sit very well Honestly though, it sits okay And when you tighten this down, it's going to be cinched down so nice that I don't think even with this little thickness of the stealth strip That you're gonna to have to worry about this coming loose at all if that is the case Then I think you're drastically too loose uh, when you tighten these down. So I'll hold that in place slip the other washer over get this lock nut here on a little bit careful not to strip those at all. Once you get that on a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and take the smaller Allen wrench that will fit here. Hold this with one hand and the 10 millimeter socket in the other. And I'm going to start to cinch that down. Because there's grooves on there, it should self-align. You should not need to hold this part into place at all. And last but not least, we're going to go ahead and take this first strap. does not need a washer on this side. We're just going to stick that in. There's already a little indentation in here. Get it in a little bit. Oh, looks like we missed one, uh, one hole here. So what I might do is actually try and use my scissors. Hopefully uh, not dull them up too much. Stick that back through. Seemed to work out just fine. Maybe it's even a little bit easier way. Get this going and then I'm going to use the 13 millimeter socket and the larger Allen wrench and I'll tighten this up. All right, and there we have it guys. This is done. These can fold in. The last thing I'm probably going to do is lift these steps up. I'm going to take some of our small rectangles that I talked about. You can certainly trim them up if need be. And this is what we're going to prevent. You may not be able to hear it too well with the camera, but when we're out there, we want to worry about as little as possible. So you're going to just put the step up and then kind of tucker this in. It's okay if it's not perfect. You can wrap it up a little bit if you need to and then kind of slam it in there to really get it seated nice. And now you're not going to have any sound when you put these steps down. So I'm going to finish up with that. When you take both sticks, as you guys are probably already aware, it's a really nice stacking feature. These smaller ones go right into these bigger buttons and they just kind of snap in. 
which is really nice. There we have it guys, all set with these sticks. If you have any questions, again, leave them in the comments below. Uh, seems they worked out very well. I would recommend them, even though, again, I haven't used them very much, but as far as how nice these st uh, style strips are and the price and, uh, and quality so far of these uh, Hawk Heliums, um, I look forward to, uh, to getting out there doing a little more hunting. It's early October and I haven't been out uh, one day, so I'm um, looking forward to bringing you guys some videos of that. Stay tuned and we'll see you next time.